shooter. The straight shooter himself is Stephen A. Smith. Uh, as, as a sports pundit, you're constantly making uh, a case. For your argument, you're making a case for something. Sure. Can you call... Let me call on those powers right now. OK. All right. Sell me on sports. <laughs> I'm not a Genem. Steven. But uh, I don't catch them as often Let me as help I you. Let, let yeah. me help you out. OK. Yeah. You believe in a meritocracy, don't you not? Uh... Yes, you do. Sure. <laughs> You well, believe, it's a loaded you, 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 phrase you, you, these no, days, well, but I'll go, yeah, I, sure. I feel you on that. What yeah. I'm saying is this. People who step up to the plate and earn their way in a fair and equitable system, that's ideal for all of us. Sure. That, nothing comes closer to that than sports. They could care, they could care less about your feelings. You scrub, you scrub. And I'm allergic to scrubs. I don't like scrubs, OK? <laughs> if you can't play, good luck. Find us something else to do. You don't want to go to a Knicks game. You don't want to go to a Yankees game. You don't want to go to a Giants or a Jets game. And you don't want to hear people talking about issues and all of this other stuff at the expense of showcasing what you bring to the table. When, when, when tip-off time arrives in basketball, when kickoff arrives in football, when they start a baseball game, listen, show up and show out or move aside and let somebody else in. That is sports. And if you can't love sports, when I just broke that down to you, I'm going to pray for you. All right, please I'm going to pray for you. What is the greatest sport, in your opinion? Well, to me, the greatest sport, I love basketball. I mean, I just do. Um, I just do. I think that they're, I think that they're the greatest athletes in the world. Obviously, football is America loves it. Night and day, we get all of that. Um, baseball, I don't want to hear anything. You can sit down in the outfield chewing on pumpkin seeds or something like that. You are waiting for the ball to come fly to you. You know, now it takes a lot of skill to hit a 95-mile-per-hour fastball, and I get all of that. But there are other elements of the games that's entirely too slow, which is why you see them bringing some other stuff into the mix, trying to speed up the game. But when I think about basketball, the way they run, the way they jump, their athleticism, their shot-making ability, the acrobatic plays that they execute. Was your game, it's, too. It's, it, it is. It is. Of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. I love basketball. Mm. Love it. Now, I love boxing, too. I love football as well. But I love nothing more than I love basketball. Have you ever been punched in the face? Sure. <laughs> in a boxing ring, I mean, in a boxing well, well, ring. No, well, listen, when, when, I was, uh, when I was in high school and I was in PAL, I got punched in the face. Police Athletic League is what it was called. I was actually 19 and 1, but I got dropped big time by this dude that was about 25 pounds heavier than me, and I must admit, I cheated. I, I hit him low. Wow. I hit him low after that. I, wow. low. I didn't like getting punched in the face. I and my girlfriend once. at the time was there. I boxed once in middle school. They made us box. You know, there's a certain age at which in school okay. where they go like, let's see if we can get their bloodlust up. That's right. And they have you wrestle and box basically okay. on the same day to see right. if anybody goes into it. How so, did well, you do? What? How did you do? Well, I was the only one who raised his hand to say, I'll box. No okay. one, because boxing was optional. I said, I'll box. Because okay. I was one of eight boys in my family. Okay. And my, my brothers had boxed. Like, I had to be able to box. All so right. I raised my hand. Okay. And one other guy raised his hand. And he was a large boy <laughs> who had matured before the rest of us. He was shaving yes. in eighth grade. Yes. And his literal name was Rocky. Wow. And the coach put me in the things and the gloves that were bigger than my Why head. Why didn't you run? Why? Why didn't I, you just turn around and run? Because I said I would. Because I said I would do you it. You could have come up with an excuse. I'm sick. I got a headache. My mother's calling me. I've got to go home. I mean, you could have come up with anything. Why didn't you just run? <laughs> Why? Because I was a friend. He was a friend of mine too. Rocky was. It was not going to hurt me. So did you think Rocky was going to take it easy on you? I had never seen Rocky throw a punch before. A dude named Rocky is not going to take it easy on you. So I held up my gloves like this, and he punched this glove so hard that I knocked myself <laughs> down. That's two. True that's story. two. True story. Wow. And and our, our co coach goes, "All right, that's it." And then we moved on. <laughs> yeah. Then we moved on. Um, uh, look, uh, we, we got to go here. I, I, this has been such a pleasure. Man, please. Um, it's so nice to talk yes. to you. Straight Shooter is on sale now with Stephen A. Smith, everybody. We'll be right back with FBI Most Wanted star Dylan McDonough.